All right, well, welcome back, everyone. The basil has finally seen her last days. That is gone forever. That's that you, you're not coming back from this. It's also very like, ugh. it's like wet. Weird how the whole plant just like that. That's the pepper plant, so it still looks kind of all right. But basil's done with. Uh, yeah, so you guys might remember from the last video, crazy frost we had. Uh, very, very cold. I mean, it was 24 degrees when I left Fahrenheit, then got down to like, or up to like 28 for the rest of the day. Uh, here was the awesome thing from the last trash picking episode, and that is this lovely vending machine. Uh, it looks like it, I don't know if those are gumballs, but they're like little baseballs. That looks like a bouncy ball. Um, I don't think whatever this is, is what's in there. But this thing is broken. Yeah, that's that thing. And then guess what everyone since people asked me This thing is finally taken apart As you guys see I got all the way to this one and I say you know what I'm about done with it So uh, here's all the brass I think for tomorrow's episode I'm not sure if I will do a scrapyard video or just an auction video because I'm going to the uh, The auction it's gonna be one of those late auctions that were really really fun to do So we'll see what happens, but I'll keep you guys updated with how much money I get from that nice brass pile. Took me about a little over an hour and a half, though. Uh, so a little bit of work, but let's make it a fun day. As you guys see in the title, it's trash picking. Let's get into it. All right, looks like we might have a little scrap pile going. Yeah. Gotta be the heaviest sump pump I've ever lifted in my life. This thing probably weighs. Yeah, that thing is massive. That's that's a relic. That that is definitely a relic. That is not a new sump pump. Or no, it's eh, let's say it's late 2000s, maybe 2010, 2012. But I think it's like the, uh, what is it, one horsepower? So I think usually they're like a third or two thirds or half. There are people who dropped off those uh, sealed units, air conditioners or condensers, what were they, uh, dehumidifiers. Probably, what, two weeks ago? Decent amount of weight. See some brass down there. That might be dirty brass. This, I believe, goes as a transformer. Yeah. I think last week I skipped this town. Yeah, because I did a. Uh, did storage units that day and it poured rain completely so hopefully I didn't miss anything there last week it was signed I love when uh, I love when it says free what the heck is this though it must be like a makeshift makeshift oh uh, yeah this is soft this isn't even metal but these are metal and they're makeshift clamps for a weight thing that's the correct terminology here uh, I always take the sign so it's a good sign I'd feel really awkward leaving a free sign, you know, just on the ground. What was the name of that thing? I forgot what the name of it was. It's the bar. It's not the bar bell. Bell. Bar bell bar. Bar bell bar. 
I just call it a bench press bar. Weightlifting bar. See a suitcase up there. Take a look at it. It's not a suitcase. It's a speaker. Yep. Not for me. That really looked like a suitcase. Anyway, I also forgot to say two-part episode as always and I was trying to think I was driving down this road I know I took a break from trash pick in this town I feel like it was last winter and I have no idea why but I do remember like just one week being like oh I totally don't trash pick this town anymore I just started doing it again and I don't have any clue why I stopped for a couple months no clue Unfortunately, I saw that cat before it saw me. Okay. <laughs> that one scared me pretty good. All right, one of those. Just one. This, this cat's got to figure it out. Why is it gonna hit? Whoa, well, man, he looks kind of skinny. I don't know, he's just just striped like that. Look like you can see his rib cage. Those always throw me for a loop. Those uh, metal container things that hold your garbage cans, like dollies, metal racks. The cat just had stripes on them that made him look skinny. So I, don't, I think the last video I posted because I didn't film for a couple days. It was probably that uh, that video where I was working on my shelves. Ironically. Shelf. However, this would not work for me. Um, so actually the last two days I've been working on it as well been a work in progress I realized I went to Home Depot two days ago got like 15 cinder blocks realized I need a lot more that's that's gonna sound wonderful for the next hour but yeah I need I need a lot more cinder blocks so I'm going back to Home Depot probably tomorrow or the following day um, but it's looking really nice the homemade shelving uh, of taco stacks is it's working fairly well. Um, I, I sent a photo to Larry and he asked me if I was four years old because <laughs> it's kind of rigged together, but it looks sharp. Um, and then they presume to tell me if I go to auctions and if I do, why don't I just buy shelving there? And that's exactly the shelving he was talking about and they realized that would not work either. So, tomato, tomato. Honorable mention, maybe coolest find of the year right here. Possibly coolest find of the year. Possibly coolest find of the year. It's up there. It is up there. It certainly is up there. Wow. I don't even know what that is. It's a drum, obviously. It looked like a hand-carved wood drum. I don't even know what you like look up. Maybe you even look that up on eBay. I don't know, I'm driving. I can't look up that right now. That is probably one of the coolest things I have found ever in over 500 episodes of trash picking. I would rank it up there at the top 10. 
as long as it's still like functional, which it seemed like it was functional. That was really cool. Now, if you guys like that kind of stuff and you haven't already, subscribe down below because once again, we will not be stopping trash picking anytime soon. And there'll be plenty more episodes just like today of finding cool things. Those are just black garbage bags. We have something over here. This guy had something last week. He had Mr. Heater. It's a plastic chair. That's not gonna work. But yeah, wow, that's crazy. I, I just, I've used the word shocked a lot of times. Kind of like the, uh, kind of like the first person ever to find out what electricity was. They were shocked. This is actually a pretty nice plant stand. Try not to have this thing shatter. give this a go. All right, wow, that's a vintage limo if I've ever seen one. It's getting dark out. People are honking at each other. And we're about done with today's episode. Man, it was a good one. So yes, another two-part episode. We did find a bunch of metal. Uh, I know I didn't also stop over here this week, so that's kind of unfortunate. Usually it's like the one town or the one area I usually do my recap in for the other town. Fortunately, I didn't do that town, but this thing is awesome. Um, I don't know if that's hand carved. It might be. It's a very cool piece there. So yeah, we got ourselves a drum. Taco stacks and the tacos featuring salsa. I don't know. Uh, overall, another fun day of finding cool things in the trash. I mean, we got everything. We got an air conditioner and we got rip apart and a bunch of scrap metal. I will be making a run tomorrow to the scrap yard. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take all that brass tomorrow or I'm going to take the other. Yeah, I guess I will take all the brass. I don't know. We'll figure something out for tomorrow. Um, but wow, still, uh, still kind of shocked with this find. It's always a pleasure to do these videos. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying this kind of content. That as, as always. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, subscribe down below. More treasure hunts just like this will be happening in the future. Catch you guys next time. Next adventure, who knows what we get into. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.